high developer so this is the second last part of our application and here we will fix some bugs of our, our application not going to develop any new feature because features are already developed right so uh, let me show you the list of uh, bugs so we need to fix a search uh, bug in a header here you can see that if user is logged in there is a no search option and if user is logged out then a search option is actually visible right and let me just uh, again logged in a user and again you can see that there is a no search option second thing if uh, there is a no item in cart and user just trying to access this page user can access this page first thing this page should not be accessible second thing if this is accessible then there should be just message like uh, no item in cart or something right because there is a no item in cart but still there is option for checkout and some uh, uh, delivery charges and all right so we will fix all of these things and now we can start with the code right so i am just opening the header.com.ts because there we have to fix two bugs so for search bar there is a condition if menu type is default then this search uh, will be visible if uh, the menu type is user or seller that time is it, this is not visible but it should visible if a user is logged in or if anyone is not logged in in case of seller it should not be visible so what i'm going to do if menu type is not equal to seller right that time it should be visible and now in case of uh, uh, you can say that default user and uh, in case of logged in user this is vis visible in a both case right we can check again and here we go and now uh, as i told you like if uh, there is a no uh, item in cart then user should not redirect to the cart page so for that what we can do there so this is the user switch case user users menu and let's say uh, if there is a no item in cart that time the value of cart item uh, should be zero and we will check the condition if uh, uh, the cart item value is greater than zero then user can redirect on that page otherwise the router link will be null right and uh, now you will find that this is working fine so if i'm just trying to click over there not working if we have one item in cart and try to log in this time this is working fine great but still there is an issue uh, i will tell you what so if uh, uh, let's say there is a no item in cart i just removed it i cannot jump from there but user can directly jump from cart page like url right so we have to fix this page also so for that uh, we will fix that one also but there is a, another bug because the both bugs are interrelated so first i will uh, first i will uh, fix that uh, uh, remove cart so because you can see that there is a remove to cart option but if i am just clicking over there nothing is actually happening so we will fix this issue also so i am fixing that one first and then uh, after the url uh, uh, url bug okay so uh, now we can just close this page and we can open the cart page component dot uh, html and here you can see that mm, yeah this is the option for remove to cart so what i'm going to do there i am simply putting a, a click event and over there i am adding a function remove to cart and here here i will pass cart dot id and now let's define this function in ts file here we can define if you want then you can just format it once right yeah okay so i don't need to copy the whole line i just need to copy that function so let's say we have this function and here we will get uh, the cart id right cart id and that could be the type of number could be type of undefined and here we will uh, just call a function to remove to cart and that's that function is already created if you will jump on uh, any page that's on product detail there is an option to remove to cart and if you are just clicking over there the item is removing same function we can call from there right so what i'm going to do i am just opening a uh, 
product detail dot ps and this is the actually main code so i am just copy this code from product detail to cart page and pasting here and now we don't need this user and other things list and also i can just simply uh, you know, let remove this code also i just need that code but there is one one catch so if we will remove okay uh, yeah we just need to use this cart id as a parameter like there and uh, this will only this api will only call if user id id is cart id is not undefined now we will find that everything is working fine so let let me just add it again one product add to cart and let me add one more so let's say just i am trying to buy a nike shoes and let's say i am just removing one item from there that time the product uh, price summary and all uh, should be uh, recalculated right to do, do that what i'm going to do i am just uh, making a function of this uh, because this code is actually related to calculate the all uh, ui of dynamic ui of this page right so i am just creating a new function with that code and uh, i can just uh, simply cut this code i don't need to copy and let's say the function name is load details load details and i can simply paste this code there right and after that let's call this function from here this dot load as well as from the remove to cart right like this and uh, now you can see that if i will just remove one item from there let's i just remove the nike shoes you can see that price is uh, recalculated and the item is also removed from there but again there is a catch so if i will just remove second part again you can see that just this part is remaining so what i need to do inside this load page if our uh, cart data is empty that time we can redirect the page to the home right that is the uh, i think uh, best and simplest way so what we can do there if not this uh, this cart this dot cart data dot length if there is a no length that means zero length or undefined or null that time we can simply copy this code from there and paste it there and now let's redirect it on the home page okay so now let's check it out you can see that uh, user automatically redirected to the other page if user is just trying to access that page from uh, directly from url it will redirect to the home page first thing is that second thing let's say just user try to uh, buy samsung mobile jump on cart remove this product cart from there then again user will redirect on the home page because this code is written uh, inside the load detail and load detail called on the page load as well as on remove to cart uh, call right so that's all for this part uh, all uh, bugs are uh, just fixed now and in next part we will just learn that how we can clone our project from git and run on our local machine it will help you out to just uh, copy the code from uh, uh, git and uh, uh, execute on the local of your machine local machine right so thank you so much and uh, i will request you to share your feedback in comment section provide valuable feedbacks and uh, if you have a query you can ask me on, on instagram as well as on comment box thank you guys